McAfee. So hopefully uh, she, she, she's here soon. It's it's not patch day, but it's like patch day for me because I didn't play when the patch dropped. Let's take a look at what they've done to the game. Imper, one, two, three, for three months. Thank you very much. What have they done? Chat, what have they done? Support items, Terminus, Tethering Abilities Adjusted, Lethal Tempo? Buff Kaisa? I think they might have made the best patch in the world. We'll have to see. Alright, so Vanguard. I've been seeing a decent amount of cheaters lately. So, we've elected to change the rollout plan. Instead of a global rollout, we'll be releasing in a single region first with patch 14.5. Okay, that's the next patch. This allows us time on live service to evaluate how Vanguard is functioning and being experienced before making adjustments if required. Got it. Did Smolder get nerfed? Adjusted. Smolder got adjusted. Let's take a look. Um, Hold on. Gonna have to turn that down. Quit the yapping. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Arya Ari didn't look that good for a while. Asol got nerfed. Makes sense. I heard Asol was pretty broken. I didn't really see him that much in my Soul EQ games. Uh, Bard got... Bard got nerfed. Oh my god. He got nerfed. So he does less damage. He does he does less damage and he's a tiny bit less tanky. Why are they saying okay, he's especially durable? Um Yo, guys, am am I blind or like what's going on here? How did they make him less tanky? Is it the fact that he has three less armor when he's level 18? Is is that the nerf? So when he's level 18, instead of having 150 armor, he has 147 armor, and that's that's a nerf? Sometimes I, I read this, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. He's too tanky. Then I look at the notes, and I'm like, okay, so like, where's the note? Where, where, where's the change that is making him less tanky? I'm not seeing it. He gets more AP ratios and less base damage. Okay, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I just think when I read this, it was like, oh, okay, they're going to make him squishier. It just felt like uh, a little bit of a blue ball. All right, let's see here. So Fiora, trading patterns for W attack speed slow is too hard to answer, so they nerfed the W attack speed slow. Oh, that's, that's a pretty big nerf. That's a pretty big nerf. Jesus, they halved it. Alawi. Alawi's too... Oh, dude, Alawi is too broken. Alawi is actually broken. Thank God they nerfed her. Like, what the fuck was that champ? I mean, she still might actually be really strong. Jace. Jace got buffed. Wait, Jace E sometimes suffer from weird effect, occasionally throwing players in an odd direction when cast during an opponent's dash. To resolve this, we've adjusted to work, make him work more like Lee Sin's R, now rooting on cast. This also means it will no longer knock enemies outside of auto attack range when cast at max range. Additionally, we're looking to flatten Jace's power curve, giving him more agency to skirmish and lane. This should make him less dependent on mermana and make early runes to him more valuable. Dude, Jace, if he's good in lane, then he is going to be broken. He's going to be broken. Right? Because like Jace scales pretty good. I think like mid to late game Jace actually is a fucking menace with lethality items. He's he's just one tapping with his EQ. So, wow, they give him 2 AD and, and all this. I, I he might be broken. He might be really strong. He's still 47 win rate. Oh shit. Well, I mean, Jace is hard to play. Jace is hard to play. That's like saying Azir is is not strong. Right? Because like Azir always has a terrible win rate. It's like J NA Jace, you could just you could just go down and say like any Jace that's not playing great. Medios name drop me? What did he say? What did, what did Medios say? Yo, link it, link it. Wait, so his Q doesn't slow and he's an all out? 
Tofu came in and started meowing. Hey, Tofu, quit yapping. That's huge. So they, they nerfed the shit. Okay, so Cassante doesn't leave a lot of room for counterplay during all out. You might even say his opponents are all out of counterplay options. So we're aiming to address his opponent's ability to outplay him <clears throat> or at least give them time to process what he's doing. We think that these changes will result in some degree of lost power, but we believe that these adjustments should help Cassante in an overall better state long term. Uh, okay, so they made him tankier. They made him tankier. They gave him more mana, more base HP, and no slow during his all out, and better ratios of bonus stats on his W, but... Oh, shit. When he's all out, you can't just, like, do a fast W. Oh, shit. That's a pretty big nerf, because, like... Part of the reason why he was so OP when he was ulted is because he could just like do a double dash. Oh shit, they nerfed the dash speed on his E by like a lot. So he's like way less mobile. Okay. That's big. That's big. That's big. Oh, Kaisa is buffed, guys. Kaisa is back. I think, ah, uh, dude, I'm, I need to get in on this shit. Kaisa is fucking back. Passive bug fix. E damage decreased. Callista is nerfed? Because uh, in pro play, right? They have the nerfer for pro play. <sighs> and Lulu is buffed. Who at Riot... Dude, which Lulu main is on the de development team? Like, which one is on the violence team? I need to meet this guy. I need to meet this person. Like, we, we need to have a talk. Like, Lulu getting buffed? Is that good for the game, guys? Is that good for the game? I'm, I'm all for balance. I'm all for trying to make the, the game balance. But is that good for the game? When you queue up and the enemy locks in Lulu, are you just like, yeah, this is going to be a fun one? <laughs> yeah, she hasn't been around for a while. But I think, like, Janna needs to get nerfed. And, like, I'm down with these champs to just be, like, not that that good. Just not that good. Maokai finally nerfed, boys. Four base armor down. Q damage down. Dopa down. R nature's grasp. Ooh, pretty big nerf. Pretty big nerf. Jesus. Jesus. Good, good nerfs. Good nerfs. Good nerfs. Good nerfs. Good nerfs. He's yeah, he's still last here. Makes sense. Uh, all abilities adjusted for Rek'Sai. What, what, what's going on? So, what, what's going on here? Fury of the Xur'Sai. What the fuck is that passive? I was never going to guess that passive's name if it was Laldol. Uh, okay. Whoa. 20% max health. 20% max health healing. 20%. Guys, if you have a... 3,000 HP has 600 healing. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, okay. And Q. Okay. It scales on attack speed. So the Bruiser Rek'Sai with a little bit of attack speed was going to be better. Oh, and it gives attack speed. Okay. Q, Prey Seeker, Burrowed. Okay, so they buffed it. They gave it a lower cooldown early ranks and they gave it a little bit less damage. But it scales worse off AD. Less damage, scales worse, but lower cooldown. Maybe it's a nerf. That's a nerf. Is that a nerf? 25 bonus. They, they nerfed it, right? Less, less AD, less, but like only two seconds off. That's an overall nerf. Okay. W vision radius is, is a little bit increased, but the move speed goes up on rank. Nice. The, the, you can do multiple flash and knock up now. You can, you can, before, you could only knock up one person. But now, if you flash knock up, you can might get five. That's huge. That's actually huge. You get, you get multiple knock ups. Tunnel? Holy shit, tunnel's way lower. Holy shit, tunnels way lower cooldowns all around. Okay. Removing the 0 0.5 second hitch when manual cast. Okay. 
Oh my god, okay. This this is this is kind of insane. This is kind of insane. Rexai might be back. Well, Rexai might be back. Let's check win rate, guys. What are we guessing here? I'm guessing above 50. I'm guessing above 50, honestly, with these changes. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Rek'Sai is not back. Rek'Sai is so not back. Who said Rek'Sai was back? Who the fuck said Rek'Sai was back? That... Ban that guy. All right. Um, Renekton. Re Inori might have said it, yeah. R does zero damage. I didn't read the last one. I didn't read the last one. Yo, why did, why did no one tell me? Why did no one tell me about the last one? Shit. Shit, man. Okay, so Renekton champs Q healing increased. E cooldown decreased R bonus. So he's more tanky, but he's less mobile. We are down with that change. We are down with that change, boys. Okay, Smolder. Q additional fireball scaling decreased. Now stacks of targeted minion dies while Q is in mid-flight. Why? Why? Why do we make Smolder easier to play? He's already so fucking easy. Who is asking for that? Who is asking for that? Oh, I read that wrong? Oh, shit. I read that wrong. He's more mobile. He's more mobile and he does more healing. Oh, shit. You guys are right. My bad. I read that wrong. Okay, so... Oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? Fireballs at 125 stacks. What does that mean? Chat, what does that mean? Plus two? What does that mean? What does it mean that it only gets one plus one fireballs? The, the AoE is bigger later. Okay, so so the 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 splashback is thinner, is smaller than before. Okay, okay, that uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's deserved, that's deserved. W a chu. Yeah, that nerf does nothing to his stack. I think he needs to one shot the wave. So W is. Is just nerfed straight up. It's straight up nerfed, right? Like it, no buffs whatsoever. Just cooldown goes down. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Cooldown is better late game, but worse early game. So five points W. The cooldown is better late game, and then the W is also better five points late game because worse early here, but better at like twenty more damage at rank five. Oh shit, and the explosion scales off bonus AD. What, you can't one-shot back minions at 3W unless you're balling? Wait, really? Actually, like seriously, you can't do it? Are you sure? Wait, I don't understand how that would have changed. Look, 3.W, right? So 3.W, let's take a look at the differences. 110, 110. So same bonus, same scaling. I'm confused. I'm confused. Same scaling. The AD scaling is the same. The W, the same, right? The, ba the base damage is the same. The explosion damage only happens when you hit a champion. Only happens when you hit a champion. The AP scaling doesn't matter because I was doing D-Blade anyways and doing it. I was still doing three points W with D Blade. I was not going AP every game. I was only doing it sometimes. I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to be different. The, ex the explosion is irrelevant because the explosion only happens when you hit a champion. Sneaky did the test last night. Wait, what, dude? I need to go into a custom right now. What the? What the? 
Okay, let's see. Let's see. Fleet, yeah. Like that, boom. Oh, shit. Dude, I just got dizzy. Oh, shit, dude. I just got dizzy for no reason. I think I need food. Whoa. I'm getting vertigo. I'm getting vertigo. I'm legit getting vertigo. It feels like I'm about to, like, fall over. Okay. Five. So we go 3 points W, boom, like that, okay? We had a little bit of gold. And let's just let's just say we have two long swords. I need 25 stacks. Yeah, you're right. Dude, I'm so good. Look at me getting all these stacks. Okay. I feel a little better. That was weird. That was weird. I, I, I'm normally that has never happened to me before. Okay, so another thing is I need to I need to accelerate the time a lot because the minions they get more HP. So like right now, for example, the the range minions two 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 ninety six now three three oh two like they need to they need to be like a reasonable eight amount of uh oh my god what the fuck is going on okay so I think I think this is probably about right okay let's try it out what the fuck oh my god there is no way there is no way what have they done what have they done holy sh six hp are you kidding me wait what if i what if i hold on hold on hold on what? oh shit that didn't count i hit the champion on accident fuck sorry let's go here let's go here Okay, so like, if I have, if I, I, mean, I have too many stacks now. No, no, the stacks, sorry, I'm sorry. The stacks don't add to the explosion damage. Excuse me. Oh shit, now I have two points. Try it with ring. I'm not going to go ring, guys. That's a nerf. Oh, that would be a sick play, guys. That would be a sick play. Holy shit. Imagine that. Okay, so you're here, right? And your teammate falls and you go. That would be nuts. Oh, shit. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Okay, let me see the other change. The other change is like the... This one, this one with the with the fireballs. Let's check, let's see, let's see what it looks like. Holy shit! Oh, it doesn't look that much different. It doesn't look that much different. I might with it. Yeah, I might legit with it. Okay, that was cool. That was cool to test. I, I think Smolder will still be decent. I think he'll definitely still be good. I don't know if he's going to be like as OP as he was, where he's like very, very crazy. Um, but pretty good, pretty good. Soraka has been buffed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Soraka has been buffed? No, nah, I swear to God. There's someone at Riot has a, has a fucking love boner for these enchanters. Yeah, yeah, I see. So if you have like hundreds of stacks, I think it'll like what what is the break even point though? What is the break even point? So if you had a 225, then you'd be if you had 225 before, then you would have plus three fireballs, right? Because it, it's two plus one. So now if you are hold on, let me think six times two, that's one thirty four. So now if you are at like 300 stacks, it'll be like even. And then every point after 300 stacks, you'll get, end up like getting more and more fireballs. If at 200 stacks, you have, yeah, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. I know I know. if you get 200 stacks and two fireballs, but, but, but at 225, so at 200 stacks now, you get two fireballs. 
but at 225 previously you had three fireballs so i'm saying like at what point does it like overtake the old one because of the scaling and i think it's at like three something like in the 300s it starts like slowly outscaling the old one 225 went from four to three okay wait really Oh, wait, I totally agree with that. I was thinking every 67 after 125, I was... At, I, no, no, you're right, you're right. Batudo, Batudo is right. Batudo is right. Um, I completely agree with that. It, it's like it's like in the 200s that it'll overtake. Did they check Sean's Q? No, they, they need to change that one, though. ASAP. Then NA wins Worlds. You scale even better late game. Yeah, you do. Okay, so Thresh has been buffed. Pretty, pretty, like, whatever, though, buff. You know, three armor, some cooldown on box late game. That's pretty whatever. I'm not like that. I'm not that hype on Thresh. That's that's whatever. No, they nerf Barris. They nerf Barris. No, what's going on? What, that, that, that's my one trick. That's my one trick. Two AD. No, two AD is big. Two AD is big. Yes, it's a big deal. Legit, it's actually a big deal. It's legit a big deal. You feel that. He lost half a percent win rate. It's unplayable now. It's unplayable. I'm never picking this champ up ever again. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> it's over for him. <laughs> now, but you actually can feel 280, but like, it, it's all good. It's all good. Riot had to keep me down. They, they still have a nerf Jin though. They actually nerfed two out of three AD carries that I've been spamming. But they have a nerf Jin, so it's all good. Oh, thank you, fucking dear God, that they finally nerfed TF. Jesus Christ, thank God they nerfed TF. What is the change? His E does less? AP scaling? AP scale? Are you... What? What is Riot doing? What do you mean the attack speed growth is going to matter? Are you going to feel 9% attack speed? 9% attack speed at level 18? Bro, are you going to feel 5% attack speed at level 10? Let's, let's, let's take a look at TF side. Okay, so TF, right? He goes Kraken. That's 40%. He goes Zerkers. That's 35%. What does he go after that, guys? What does he go after Kraken Zerkers? Does he go Ginsu's? Okay, that's another like 30 Uh. Hold on, hold on. Then you have the then you have the sorry. Law wiki Gensus. Okay, okay. So Oh okay, I'm sorry, that's twenty-five plus thirty-two, so oh shit. Okay, so uh so so hold on, hold on. We're doing twenty-five plus thirty-two, that's uh, oh sorry. Thirty yeah, plus what the fuck is going on? Let me add stuff. Uh plus thirty-two yeah, that's 57. Okay, then we add Zerker. Zerker's at a 35. Then we add the attack speed chart. That's another 9. Um, what am I missing? I'm missing Kraken. Kraken, that's another 40. Okay, let's add another like 30% because he's going to go lethal tempo. Okay, so you're going to feel 5% attack speed nerf. And his... Oh, and his E. And his E. Okay, hold on. Lol, wiki, twisted fate. Okay, so let's just add his, add his E. Uh, 60%. Okay. All right, cool. So now we've nerfed his attack speed growth from what it doesn't matter what it was nine percent at level 18 minus nine he's dead he's dead he's gutted he's gutted he's unplayable he's completely unplayable 
He's done. He's uh, yeah. He I, no. Honestly though, I think the Varus nerf might have done more. I'm not kidding. I think the Varus nerf might have done more to the champ than TF. I'm not sure though. They are done though. Both of them. Volibear getting nerfed. Zyra getting nerfed. Dude, how long have I been telling you guys about Zyra? Zyra's, Zyra is well was her, but now uh, I don't know. I don't know, but Zyra is so fucking disgusting of a champ to lane against. Hated it. Hated it. What did they do? What did they do to Lethal Tempo? I need to see it. Oh, shit. Terminus buffed, baby. Terminus is buffed. Wait, World Atlas will no longer provide bonus stacks if purchased later in the game? That was a thing? That was a thing? Guys, this thing gave you extra stacks so that you could, like, catch up before? Really? That's why everyone was starting Dorans? Why didn't anyone tell me that? I knew people started Dorans on Ezreal and, like, all these supports that fight early. I knew that. But I didn't know that it, like, gave you a catch-up mechanic later. It was a failsafe for DCs. Oh, shit. Okay. I did not know that. Going sledding. Yo, Bloodsong, gutted. Compl Dunzo. Dunzo. Look at that. Yo, can we... Ooh, more haste on lost chapter items. Holy. Holy. Lethal tempo. Melee attack speed bonus. Wait, this shit didn't get changed for ranged? <clears throat> AD carry is saved. AD carry is so saved. Oh my god. Dude, do, 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 do you guys remember when me and Sneaky were talking about the server, server ticks? And that is... Bro, they finally did it. Okay, so here it says, have you ever had a moment where LeBlanc, E, or Morgana Tether was attached, but you saved your flash to get out of range at the last second only to get stunned anyways? This type of situation occurred when Tethers do, with Tethers, due to the use of server frame checking whether, which, sorry, I'm sorry, can't talk. This type of situation occurred with Tethers due to the use of server frame checking, which resulted in server ticks where the Tether range was exceeded but did not break. In this patch, we're updating Tethers to use area checking, which means they should now break instantly, making these abilities more responsive and consistent when you're playing against them. Huge. Massivo. Absolutely massivo. Red side camera adjustments. The red, the red team offset camera option has now been adjusted to show more vision on the bottom screen compared to live. This is intended to... Okay, I don't use that, so I don't care. We're chilling. Um... Okay, they improved rank, like streakiness a bit. That's huge. Nice. Nice. Dude, I am so hungry. I need to I need I need to figure out where Lena is because if the like I can't I can't be playing right. I'm just so fucking hungry. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna explode. Like my inner fat kid right now is screaming. I would have won worlds if the tethers would change earlier. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Someone said it. Finally, someone said it.